I am frustrated. Cis man, I know what you're thinking. I'm not sexually frustrated. I'm digitally frustrated. I've spent 10 years of my life helping businesses all over the world become digital. I spent 10 years working all over Africa for large digital businesses making billions of dollars. But when I work with people in Africa, we suck at building businesses for the digital age. Guys, we really suck at it. So I'm frustrated. Now, I, I reached the pinnacle of my career, as you can see. I started in the doldrums of literally being a security guard in London and picking cabbages. I then figured I need to learn how to code, so I started coding and became a project manager. I traveled the world. I went to 32 countries where I lived for over a month. So imagine what it's like to have a beer with me when I share my stories about Mongolia, Greenland, Philippines, and most of Africa. I came back home and thought, let's do the startup thing. Three startups I founded, and I joined a little business called AdMob, the darling of Silicon Valley. That's in the US of A. And it was great because we got acquired by Google for about three quarters of a billion dollars. And I had the best five years of my life there, running a number of businesses for Google into Africa. I had reached the pinnacle. I then figured I needed a challenge. Uh, where's the ABSA crew? Hello, ABSA crew. I went and joined ABSA for two years. And I led the digital transformation there. And I had the best time of my life. Until one day, I was watching a video. A video of Zach Matera. Now, Zach and I go back years. I met him in 2010. In Kenya, he is known as Mr. Potato Man. And he had a story. And his story was how he took his way of life and changed it digitally. He started thinking and acting digitally. So I'm not going to tell you the story. I'm going to get Zach to tell you the story. Not long ago, I planted a crop of potatoes. Then suddenly they started dying one after the other. Checked out the books and they didn't tell me much. So I went and I, I did the search. Potato diseases. One of the websites told me that ants could be the problem. It said sprinkle wood ash over the plants. Then after a few days, the ants disappeared. I got excited about the internet. I have this friend uh, who really would like to expand his business. So we went with him to the cyber cafe and we checked out several sites. When I met him next, he was going to put a windmill at a local school. I felt proud because something that wasn't there before was suddenly there. I realized that not everybody can be able to access what I was able to access. I thought that I need to have an internet that my grandmother can use. And so I thought about a notice board, a simple wooden notice board. When I get information on my phone, I'm able to post the information on the notice board. So it's basically like a computer. I use the internet to help people. I think I'm searching, I'm searching for a better life for me and, uh, and my neighbors. So many people have access to information, but there's no follow-up to that. I think a follow-up to that is our knowledge. When people have the knowledge, they can find solutions without having to be helped out. Information is powerful, but it is how we use it that will define us. So you can imagine, of course, after watching it two, three times, I got up off my desk, I wandered across to my boss's desk, and I said, Ashley, I'm done. I'm done working with the large corporates. I want to help other African businesses. I want to make it my mission to help as many African businesses grow their revenues exponentially by following a technique that I've learned through my years of working for these businesses. 
how to identify the right problem that your customers are, say, are, are facing, how to solve those problems in crazy fast times, and why? Because speed matters in digital. And then the most important is scale. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your secret weapon to doubling your, your, your revenues, sorry, your scale, and doubling the growth rates. As a famous keynote speaker once said, okay, he's not so famous, right? But definitely digitally frustrated. The world will be disrupted. It's time to change how we do business in this digital age. It's time to think and act digitally. My name is Brett Sinclair, ex-Googler, entrepreneur, who likes to think and act digitally. Thank you.